Sage Eek, everyone! It is I, Ian Higson, here with a three hour live stream of Project Zero Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. This game comes out tomorrow, uh, but technically it's been out since 2008 because this is a remaster of Project Zero or Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Um, depending on where you're from in Europe, uh, these games are called Project Zero in, I think, America and um, Japan. It was called Fatal Frame. Uh, I have only ever played one Project Zero game. It was Project Zero on the original Xbox, and it was the first ever Project Zero. Uh, and I played that about 2003, so my memory pretty much removed all of that game from from itself now i had to make room for facts about cheeses and um sweets so sorry i can't remember too much about the original one this i believe is the fourth in the series and there have been a few remasters uh, but this one yeah is due out tomorrow um, and I believe it's on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, potentially on more, maybe the Xbox as well. It looks like it's been reviewed uh, on pure Xbox. So, and it's also coming out on the PC. So basically, it's coming out everywhere uh, tomorrow. And you can get a sneak peek of the first three hours today, whether that's to see what uh, the game is like. Maybe you've heard about the Project Zero games and you have fancy picking one up. Maybe you played this one back in the day and you want to see how it's improved. This is a remaster, not a remake, so it's basically the same, just with the graphics have been betterized. Um, they call me Di Ian Digital Foundry Higton because uh, of words of wisdom and technical um, knowledge like that. And yes, because I'm playing the first three hours for you up until 5 p.m. in a bit of a mega stream, there will be spoilers ahead. So if you don't want to see a huge amount of the game, maybe stick around for the first few bits, see what it's like, and then toddle off. But uh, you know what? Nothing will give me more pleasure than if you stick around with me for the next three hours. I'll keep you company. Stick me on in the background. Maybe put, put me up on a big TV and get spooky with me. Um, whatever, whatever your flavor uh, of live stream, I'll be here until 5 p.m. And I'm about to start a new game on normal mode of Project Zero. Welcome to everyone joining me so far. Hope you're all well. Squee, so happy you're playing this, says Joanna Wanna. Joanna Wanna, uh, I know, is a uh, it's a fan of the Project Zero series. Uh, this was never released outside of Japan, says Joanna Wanna. Uh, says Joanna Wanna. Well, I didn't know that, so there we go. I don't actually know if this if they've redubbed this in English or not. I'm gonna keep it with the Japanese and the subtitles though. That way I can chatter over the top of it and you can read the subtitles if you want. It's the best way to play them though, isn't it? In the original language. It's on the big TV in the background while I work, says when I'm 64 bits, covering all the bases. Nice. Probably could have done with the previously on Fatal Frame Stroke Project Zero. Because we are going straight in to some action. I'm remembering. I wonder what that feels like. Oh. Okay, remembering feels like the ring. Let's never do that again. Hey, Alex Samaris. I'll do some shout-outs to everyone watching in a sec, so if you want your name shouted out by this guy, uh, say hello in the chat, and I will read some names out in a second once chat's caught up a bit. Um, this is the prelude, and I'm playing as uh, Marika Sukimori, um, I believe. Basic controls. Okay, so I did have a little play around to make sure my camera 
and stuff was inverted. So hopefully it's saved that. Now I've done a new game. Um, but I need to find Misaki Aso at the moment. So here we go. Um, I'm using the classic control scheme. There is... Um, how do I bring it up? There is a few different settings here for controls. You can either go classic or um, action. I'm going to keep it to classic. And uh, display and sound. Not too many options here. Subtitles are on. Looks like you can't choose... Um, it looks like you, it is the Japanese soundtrack and uh, the, the Japanese voice acting and subtitles only. It's fine by me. All right, let's have a quick shout out. Say hello to everyone watching before we start this exploration properly. Hello to uh, Abdosian Chulak, uh, Alex B, Alex Samaras, Badger Fudge, Badgy, uh, Baggy Al, Cat Turner, Chris Sturm, Codex vs. World, CQC Ninja, Crit Spiri, Curious City Dragon Botherer, Fabian Labin, Gabriel Martins, I'm Imladra D, In Focus, Jan, Joanna Wanna, Jonathan Hennessy, Josephine W, Kalasanti Santi, Keep Calm, Reload, Kirsty, Kirsty Hands, Kenshin Fan, Kenshin Fan, Misguided Mandy, Miss Muscle, Nerve Nightcat, Nurasikin Ali, Per Vertex, Probably a Witch, Space Hopercopter, Castaway DC, Thomas Blackflame, Tomasi Tomasi, uh, Thomas Tomasi, Uriah Nabil, 164 Bits, Zanagil 180, and Yo Jimbo, welcome to you lot joining me, and thank you very much for becoming a lovely supporter or renewing your lovely supporter membership, starting Buckle 7, high five to you. All right, let's get it on. Oh, uh, this series is known as Zero in Japan, Project Zero in the EU, and Fatal Frame in North America. Ah, there we go. Uh, that's from Joanna Wana. So I was slightly wrong about this being known as Fatal Frame in Japan. But yes, Fatal Frame is a, a, a much more apt name for this series, as you'll come to see soon, because this is all about hunting ghosts with a camera. So, uh, you know, an old school camera with a flash. Now, this is very old school kind of horror game. While it's not fixed angles like super old school horrors, there is a lot of, um, oh, me pressing the wrong thing as I was trying to examine. There is a lot of going up to things and th it did say examine there, but I couldn't find the prompt again, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but there is a lot of like wandering around in uh, examining objects, seeing what they say. Let's have a look. Can I examine these? Sinister masks are on display. Oh, dear. They do look quite sim sinister. I think L2 to run, L3 to quick turn. I think that might be Slipknot. I think I didn't realise Slipknot were guest starring in this game, but um, that would explain why Wait and Bleed uh, is on the soundtrack for this game. Wait and Bleed is not on the soundtrack for this game. All the doors are locked at the moment. Let's continue searching for Misaki. So as I mentioned at the start of this game, this uh, at the start of this stream, this game is out tomorrow. Worldwide. I got the code early from uh, Tecmo Cohen. Thank you very much. Is that Misaki's flashlight on the floor? Let's find out. This flashlight, huh? Okay, flashlight illuminates the dark and helps you investigate your surroundings. Okay, just like a normal flashlight then. No, it's not Misaki. She's right in front of us. Misaki? Where you going, Misaki? Really slowly. I could have caught up with her. Just saying. She was literally there in front of us. Down that corridor. Got to find Misaki. Alright, well let's... Head past the, uh, oh, that's the, the drummer, the bassist, and the guitarist of Slipknot there. <coughs> it must be locked from the inside. Saki? 
Question is, will the boob physics be as questionable as they were in the fifth game? Maiden of Dark Water. Um, I can't... I don't know about the boob physics. Can't say it's the first thing I tested when I tried out the controls. Um, I do know that there are unlockable costumes and I think some of them may be bikinis. So, sorry. A sign hangs behind the door marked Asso Museum. Wait! Information available at 2F, Summer's End, 2F Control Room. So, Asso Museum, and we're chasing Misaki Asso. What, what's going on here? Can't open this one either. Where are we going? Alright, well... I guess I could follow the arrow. Accurate uh, running, that's how I run in real life. Door's still not open. Well, there were some stairs. Maybe we have to go up the stairs. We passed a fair few doors. I'm presuming they're all still locked, are they? Yeah, they're all still locked. Okay, let's go. She's running like her thighs are sellotaped together. Oh! That person's see-through. I, I, I reckon that might have been a ghost. Let's go check it out. I'm up for hunting some ghosts here. Who are you going to call? This guy. Alright. Well, there's an elevator. Seem to be able to activate the elevator. Mm, nothing around. We're looking for a key for the uh, Asso Museum at the moment, though. So let's just... Let's keep that in mind. Well, that's locked. We have broken into a building where every single house is, every single door is locked. Laced, lace curtains blackened with mold hang in front of an old frosted glass window. A cold atmosphere hangs oppressively just outside the thin glass. Okay, yeah, let's not go in there then. That sounds, that sounds weird. Oh. Ghosts again. So I do remember being kind of sc scared by the original Project Zero. Like, I, I can't remember anything about the story or whether or not I even completed it. But there was a... Oh my god, that picture. Can I point my torch upwards? Yes. Oh. That is... It's quite a mug shot. Um, I do remember it being a little bit jumpy every so often. Bit of a slow start to this one. We're getting some... Uh... Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Spooky ghost face. Excuse me. Let's pop in here and see if we can chat to a ghost. If only she was the master of unlocking, says Kalasanti Santi. Yes. We really need Jill here. Okay. The ghost has gone. There is no one here. You can examine the various objects found in your environment. Objects that can be examined will glimmer when you shine your flashlight over them. Okay. Let's shine my flashlight around. See if we can make anything shine up. Is what? This is a hospital. This is a hospital reception. Why the hell have they got an audio mixing desk in here? Okay, I'm, I'm passing my torch over. Oh, there we go. There's something. What'd be this then? If an object shines after you pass your light over it, you can reach out with your hand and continue to examine it. Okay, let's do it. Let's reach out and touch faith. Something is written on the paper. What's it say? It says like and subscribe. 
to Eurogamer. I've put the key to the museum on top of my desk. There are a lot of irreplaceable objects in the museum, so please take care to keep the door locked at all times. Wait, are we in a hospital? For a second I thought we were in a hospital because the ghost looked a little bit like a nurse. But why is there a museum attached to this if this is a hospital? Is this going to be like Resident Evil 2? Where the police station's in a museum? Why is everything in Japan built in museums? Uh, press square to open the menu screen. From here you can view the map. Items and view records of stuff you've collected. You can also press start to open the map screen directly. Okay. So here's the map screen. This is, do this is doing stuff for me at the moment. I'm in the green area, am I? Okay, I'm going to press square. So we got the map. So I'm in this room here. I presume the orange means locked? No, it can't mean locked because I came through here. So it just means doors. That's a bit, a bit of a shame that it doesn't show you which ones are locked or not. Um, and we can enlarge or reduce. Well, that's just the same as doing that, isn't it? Uh, we've also got items stored here. No consumables yet. I've got my uh, ivy patterned key and my flashlight. What else? We've got files. So we've got some records, a nurse's memo, and some basic control things. I don't have any records yet, and I don't. I've not encountered any ghosts yet, and I don't intend to. Ghosts don't exist. Blah blah blah. Grasshopper Manufacture had a hand in this. Big fan of them, says Kevin. Uh, Cap Gavin UK. Gav Kevin UK. What the I honestly could imagine this music being at the start of a Slipknot album. Just before it goes... <laughs> Let's get out of here. It's, wait, is that nurse back in the nurse's reception or whatever it was? I can't see her. Okay, we're just going to... Let's just leg it. Jesus Christ, Ian, that mug is massive, says Alex B. Oh, my God! It certainly is massive. It's cold here in the UK. It's snowing right now where I am. I'm trying to keep myself warm. Normally, I'd have myself a little kind of coke or something. A bit of caffeine to keep myself, you know, energetic for the stream, but I'm having a hot coffee today. All right. It's too spooky. Let's get Misako and get the hell out of here. Let's run at walking speed all the way back to that museum and see about getting out. This is only the prologue as well, so... At the moment, things are a little bit slow. But I'm sure they'll pick up. I think... Um, you know, you probably already know if you want to get this game or not. This is definitely going to appeal to old school horror game fans. Fans of the Resident Evil series and things like that. Controls are a bit sluggish. Maybe if I change the action control scheme, it might be a bit better, a bit, feel a bit more modern. But it's alright. I, I think maybe, uh, you know modern m m younger gamers may this may not appeal too much to them but any fans of the fatal frame straight project zero series will definitely be uh, looking forward to this one coming out just like joanna wanna is oh no more ghosts where's my camera my camera obscura as it's called in this series. oh yikes yep that's Nope, the hell out of there. That's good. Good noping.
Only one thing worse than ghosts. Peeping Tom Stalker ghosts. Is that Owen Wilson in the background there in that painting? Wow. Ian's thumbnail is the scariest thing so far, says Kirsty Hands. Listen, everyone, it's okay to be turned on by that photo, that thumbnail. Okay? Don't fight it. Just go with it. You'll soon come to a... Oh, my God, there's a face on that door. That's kind of messed up. Locked, though. Should have known. Should have known. What have we got here? There's lots of... An assortment of cameras. They all seem rather antiquated. Ooh. Okay. Is that a typewriter to save on? Surely not. No, I don't think it is. Examine. Oh, I have to reach out. So, you press you press circle to examine. But you have to hold circle to reach out. So, if I take my finger off now, I won't reach out. Which is why when I press circle to examine, it did that weird thing there. You have to... Hold circle. Professor Asso's notes. The name uh, Kunihiko Asso is written on it. Those with spiritual potential can see shadows, forms invisible to the average person, the souls of the dead, vestiges of thought left behind in a place. My camera obscura was created to capture these clues to the spirit world, and I now have a chance to improve its capabilities even further. In the course of my research here, I have discovered that the materials used in mask making on Regetso Isle can improve the camera obscura's ability to capture those shadowy forms on film. I've also come to believe that the camera obscura holds a power greater than even I had ever expected. This is the power of the camera obscura to affect these shadows when photographing them. It is something like the exorcism that those with spiritual potential refer to. Whoops. It is my experiments on this island that have brought me to this bold conviction. I've decided to donate a camera obscura to the owner of the hotel. Oh, it's a hotel, not a hospital. It's got this, It's got basically the same letters in it. But some less, fewer. I did not explain why I was donating it, but I cannot help but feel that there will come a day when this island will need the power of the camera obscura. I only hope that I'm wrong and that such a day will never come. Well, guess what? Writing man, this day has come. All right, let's go get this camera obscura. Oh. Ah, nice that they've put uh, a rumble pack in there. An old camera. This must be Professor Asu's camera obscura. It's fancy looking. This camera. Kuriwa? Jump scare. <laughs> oh, you've weakened the ghost. Okay, we're we gonna get a ghost photo tutorial now. Camera Obscura is a special camera with the power to see, to view and seal away the inconceivable. It's the only camera that can take photos of me, then. When a wraith appears, you can seal it away by taking photos of it with the Camera Obscura. Press Triangle to take out the Camera Obscura. While holding the camera, press R2 to take a photo. Press and hold L2 while aiming the camera at a ghost to lock on to the ghost and keep the camera aimed at it automatically. Okay, so triangle. Oh god, that's... That's... Awkward. You have to bring out the camera with triangle. It's gone, was that a person? I have to get out of this place. So you have to bring out the camera with triangle and then... Oh, okay, you don't have to hold triangle. I thought you had to hold triangle. It's okay, it's not as awkward now. Because you triangle's just above the right thumbstick and you have to use the right thumbstick to aim. So I was like, oh, I've got to hold the right triangle and use the right thumbstick? What do you think my thumb is, a giraffe's neck? But we're fine. Wait. Is this door going to have something spooky on it? Are you a thing? Mm. No, I guess not. 
Okay, anything else in this room of delights? Maybe I can sit down on the sofa, have a rest. Examine. Worn books line the glass case. Dampness has caused us the print to run, making them illegible. A collection of old books. The name Kunihiko Aso can just about be made out in places. Okay. Oh, is this... Do you think this is Kunihiko? An old portrait hangs on the wall. The plaque reads Kunihiko Aso. He must be the man in the picture. It's not Owen Wilson. It's the... the, the the center part in. That got me. Okay. Swap! What the? Oh my god, there's loads of them! That's, now is not the time for a nap, madam. Or a thing. Sorry for mooning, everyone. Hee 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 hee. Sure, I'll save the game. New data. Now saving. Okay. The prelude is clear. So now we can close the save menu. I mean, that's a good question. Watashiniwa it's a rather fancy dress to be ghost hunting in. A melody. Pain, it's the only thing that slowly stops the ache. Oh, different melody. Some excellent Ringu vibes from this. She's now on the Man of Medan. Her. Oh. Oh. Madoka They were the ones in the prologue. Oh no. Don't go to a place where, like, four of your mates have disappeared on your own without a gun. I know it's hard to get guns in Japan, but still, at least bring a friend who looks like a gun. God, she's so pretty. The characters are always great in these games, says Joanna Wanna. She sure is pretty. Um, okay. 
the summoning. Rika Minuzaki. Hello. Madam, you, you'll catch your death in that outfit. At least have a shawl or something. Press R1 and square to start snap mode. If you find an interesting location, try taking a picture. R1 plus, plus square. Here you can freely position and manipulate characters and ghosts in order to take the perfect picture. In camera operation mode, you can adjust the lens and frame, whereas in character operation mode, you can reposition characters. Once everything is in place, remove the menu display and get snapping. Is this photo mode? Okay, so this is just photo mode. Okay, that's nice that it has photo mode, but it's not something I'm probably going to use. Um, I can already see what people will use this for. <laughs> Uh, how do I raise that one? No! Alright, that's... Okay. People aren't going to be able to use what I thought they'd use it for. So, unlucky perps. <laughs> uh, and then you... Uh, how do you get rid of the display? And then... Oh, wait. What was take a picture? Oh, and then you press broadcast to take a picture. And then you take a screenshot. And then you got a little screenshot. Okay, so that's... I mean, to be fair, a photo mode built into a game about a camera. That's fair. That's fair. That's just not <laughs> R1 and square, I was going to say. But and then I t a horde of ghost children jump scared me. I remember a photo. I know this place somehow. Okay, is it anything to do with that thing on the floor there? No, it's just, I think that's just a texture. Is this a photo? Examine. A pen holder and a bell are positioned on the reception counter. The bell's plating has come off and it no longer rings. Oh, could, is it... Can it really be called a bell if it no longer rings? No, oh, can't get through there. Examine. An old gramophone. The platter is coated in dust and a needle has rusted away. This place is in better days. Is this still the hotel? I'm going to have a little run around the back here. Just to see. Can we go this way? No. They're very conscientious, conscientious with a door locking in this place. So there was, I noticed there was a little way around the back here of the reception. I'm going to go and have a look in, down there, but first, check the clock. How is the clock broken? Instead of numerals, the face shows phases of the moon. Oh, okay. So look, there's an arrow pointing this way. What's that say? Does it say anything? Kunihiko Aso Museum. Okay, so we are in the same building, just a different area, I guess. And it's locked. Well, bums. Time to go home then, um, Ruko. No need to be here anymore. All the doors are locked. Oh. You can save the game by pressing circle in front of one of ye the yellow lanterns. Ah, that's good to know. Lanterns also allow you to manage photo albums and change options and use points for trade items. Please note that the game can also be saved at the end of every chapter. All right, let's give that a go. The game will save automatically when you go near a glowing lantern. Okay. Let's examine. So I did unlock some costumes. Or maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh! Yep. We've got... Oh. Oh, God. We've got night... <laughs> We've got Japanese swimsuit. We've got Chinese evening dress. Fancy. We've got nightwear. Why would you come to a haunted house in your nightwear. A Marie... A Mary Rose. Wasn't that a ship that sank and is now docked in Portsmouth? She doesn't look like a ship. Glasses, yellow. Flower hair ornament, peach. Cat ears. Organ mask. I'm not sure about that. 
Would you like to trade? Current point. Yeah. I'm going to get some cat ears. Can I keep the cat ears on? And then a Chinese evening dress. There we go. There we go. Well, look at that. Now we're dressed for some ghost hunting. Ooh. <laughs> it's Marie Rose from Dead or Alive, apparently. Oh, okay. I did not know that. I don't really know the characters from Dead or Alive. I think I played Dead or Alive on the original Xbox back in the day. And the only other reason I know about Dead or Alive is because Holly Valance was in a film about it, I think. What happened to the previous girl earlier? Same one, different girl. This is a different girl. And the one earlier, uh, she sat down and had a think in front of some ghosts and then vanished forever. There's a note. Scrap of paper with handwriting on it. It looks like a Madoka's handwriting. A dull pain has laid heavy in my heart ever since I lay eyes on Rogitzo Isle looming ahead of us. Why does the mere... Why does the mere sight of the island make it so difficult for me to breathe when I don't remember anything about the time I spent there? Misaki would be right. There might just be something here. When she suddenly told me she was going to Rogetsu Isle, I followed her out of concern. Misaki was so dis determined to come here. It was frightening. She still won't tell me what this is all about. The island is getting closer now. Misaki is looking at it coldly as though her gaze were the only thing pinning it to the horizon, the only thing keeping it from slipping away into the night. With Marie and Tomo, 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 Tomio, Tomio already gone, I couldn't bear to lose Misaki as well. Okay, well that's not going to help me open the gate, is it? Can I open it? The gate is shut tight. There's nowhere to put a key. It must be opened remotely. Okay. Um, well. Can I do anything with that string? No. Oh! Madoka. Okay, let's go. Kind of wish I was wearing some cat ears now. Open. The door's open now. If you played Fatal Frame 5, so made in a black water on the same platform, you get a bonus outfit that gives you a camera obscura as a head. It looks so silly, says DDF7147. I unfortunately haven't, because I'd love that. I'd love to have a camera obscura for a face. Oh, we're back with Slipknot. Okay, well, let's go and check out the museum. Maybe we can find the camera obscura on the floor again. Or in the... Oh, yeah, there it is. Asso Museum. Madoka might, might be in this room. Okay, well, we'll get the camera. Can we? Can I reach for it? It just says there's a camera on the floor. Okay, but I can't reach for it. Okay, fine. Oh! Oh, there's a few things my torch is lighting up, though. Okay, let's reach out. It's the same book I read before. Someone must have picked it up recently. There was once a great disaster on this island which almost destroyed it and called Rogetsu Isle to become feared as a place close to the underworld. However, it has recovered from that disaster and is no longer closed off to the people from outside the Rogetsu Islands. As an outsider, I had anticipated resistance to my visitation. To my surprise, the chief welcomed me gladly to the island, seemingly in the hope that I would help introduce its native culture, such as the Kagura Festival and the traditional Rogetsu engravings and craftsmanship, to the outside world. I came to Rogetsu Isle to look for materials for my camera obscura because of the unique indigenous culture, the folklore of which is based upon the moon, which will explain the moon on the clock. In that folklore, the sun represents the outer form of things and the moon the inner. The moon, therefore, represents memory, personality, and the soul. Ooh, interesting. 
Uh, believing that the soul is still connected to the underworld after the body dies, they say that the moon is a symbol of that world as well as a gateway into it. They have a Kagura festival where the souls of the dead return to this world. And the most important element of that festival is the masks worn by the participants. The mask worn by the maiden during the Kagura is the point of contact between the living world and the world of the dead. The underworld represented by the moon, a mask that connects the underworld. There are many kinds of masks on this island and I hope to greatly advance my paranormal research by investigating them all. Are masks going to be this game's collectible item, I wonder? Oh, let's reach out and grab this newspaper clipping. There are some newspaper clippings of articles about the mass disappearances on the island. At approximately 4.30pm yesterday, the captain of the Oboro Maru docked at the Regetsu Isle reported the deaths of multiple Regetsu Islanders. All of the bodies were found with their hands covering their faces leading to the, the police to fear an outbreak of some kind of infectious disease. The police plan to continue the search for these island, those islanders whose whereabouts have yet to be determined while recovering the bodies. Despite everyone in the island being either missing or dead, there were no signs of any conflict or foul play. Faced with nothing to go on but the sudden disappearance of the island's populations and without any evidence of natural disasters, the police remained baffled by this bizarre incident. Well... Work harder then, shouldn't they? Solve some crimes, police. The face has gone from this door now. Can I go through it? No face, but it is locked. Okay, so are you telling me... What was that then? I was going to say, are you telling me I can't pick up the camera? But... No, I can. I guess. Do you want to go back to Japan, Ian? You've talked about trips there before. Oh, hell yeah! I'd love to go back to Japan. It's just as expensive. And to do it, like, to go to Japan, like, you really need about three weeks. And that's a lot of holiday days. You need at least three weeks. I mean, you could go... You could spend three weeks just in Tokyo and still not run out of things to see and do, let alone the entirety of, of Japan. Note from Madoka 2. There's a note under the camera. Misaki and I are making our way towards Regetsu Hall. The dizziness I felt on the way here has only got worse. Gotten worse since we arrived on Regetsu Isle. The air here is deathly still. It feels so hard to breathe. There's something about the smell of this place. I've had memories rekindled by certain smells and music before. Like when I heard the tune Ruka wrote. I remembered things, but not clearly. Sensations of textures, bursts of pain, vague things that can't be expressed in words. But this time is different. I feel a dark mass rising up inside my body. It's going to penetrate my head. We should have waited for Ruka. Okay, cat girl. <gasps> Whom was that? Oh, missed that. The filament shown at the top center of the screen indicates supernatural presence. Turns red in the presence of wraiths and yellow if the ghosts are spectres. When other forces of presence it are present, it turns blue instead. The item filament shown in the lower right hand corner of the screen goes blue when they're an item or something that can be in examined. Okay, so that means this. It's an old newspaper article about Professor Asso's visit to this building. Must be from the time the museum was established. Mainland scientist Professor Kuni Kunihiko Aso has arrived on Rigetsu Isle. The professor, having a deep knowledge of folklore studies, wishes to study the legends and traditions of our island. He will be present to observe the Rigetsu Kagura to be held tomorrow. Hopefully this will lead to many more visitors coming to us from the mainland. Also, it has been announced that the room where the professor is staying at Rigetsu Hall will be made into a museum in his honour. Oh, well, that explains now why there is a museum in a hotel. Did it make a weird noise then? I thought it made a weird noise, like I'd passed over something interesting. Can we go this way? Yep. It's still locked. The door won't open. It's not even locked. Oh. Oh. The camera obscura seems to be reacting. 
Maybe if I take a photo of the door with it. If you see a hazy feel, field appear on some objects and places in the game, use the camera obscura to take a photo of this energy field. And things will appear in the photo. Give you hints how to progress in the story. And there we go, we've got a blue symbol on our bit above. I'm going to walk back a bit, get this bad boy into frame. There we go. Need some good headroom. And click! Is that not. No? Do we need to go closer? Maybe we, maybe I have to wait for that circle to be like bright blue. Oh, yeah, here we go. So I have to wait for, I have to make that circle bright blue. Something has appeared in the photo. It shows five masks hanging on a wall. Find the five masks from the photo. Oh. Oh look, I can I can aim with the uh, motion controls if I really want to. A bit faster than using the thumbsticks. Okay, so that only works in camera mode though. It doesn't work with the torch standard. <coughs> Alright, I need to go and find five masks. Oh, hello. Oh, nurse. camera with the camera obscura equipped use R while holding L3 to quickly look around okay whoop is that whoop oh god god I'm doing something bad and wrong leg it run young lady okay quick turn camera obscura up where are you where are you oh don't choose the physical and stuff Coming out of the goddamn walls. Oh, fudge. Okay. You're in. You're in. Ah! Okay, I think I might have to wait until both circles are filled. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Aha, you missed me. Sucks to be you, spooky. There we go. Good snap. Another, another one, and click! Boom! A headshot. Exorcised. It's gone. What was it? It looked like a nurse. But we're in a hotel. There shouldn't be any nurses in here. That's exactly what I've been saying, cat lady. Is this the power of the camera obscura? I think it might be. You know, I was... Uh, the, the controls, a little bit. It might take a little bit of getting used to. These classic controls, at least. I got one blue spirit stone. Nice. Is that like the blue math from um, Breaking Bad? They can be used to upgrade basic abilities of your camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight. Select camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight from the menu screen, then enhancements, and choose the ability you want to upgrade. Well, maybe I will. But first, I just want to bring my camera up again. Because I'm pretty sure there was... I thought I saw blue... Uh, I thought I saw blue squiggles beforehand. By, like, the doors and stuff. But they seem to have gone now the ghost has vanished. Okay. Uh, wrong button. Wrong button. I absolutely... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I absolutely cannot remember what button it was to bring up this menu, but it's square. Okay, camera obscura. Enhancements. Ah, so I have one blue spirit stone, and I need many many to upgrade my camera obscura 
Um, well, this is the way I came from. So I don't remember there being... Do you know what? I don't remember there being five masks there. There's three masks there. Three masks there. I presume I'm looking for a wall with five masks. What about in here? No one's unlocked all the doors for us yet then, huh? Wait, can I look through that window? Is that the outside there? Ooh. It is a bit outside. The window looks out into the courtyard, but the left side is covered by a wall. The wall must be part of an extension added to the building after this section. Oh, yeah. Well, I never. Squeer. Good door opening sound effects when the doors when there are doors to open at least three masks I mean if, if I look at the three masks sinister mask on display no it's, I don't think it's anything here is gonna help oh pajamas child oi Jimmy jams you might come across spectres during your exploration. If you succeed in taking a picture of them, they'll be added to the ghost library. You'll be able to take a photo points. You obtain five. Oh, okay. So, I th those are like, I guess those are quick fire photos. I wonder if, it, like, I wonder if he'll come back. If I go up here, if I run up here at the slowest possible way, go back through here quickly is that ghost gonna come back again when I once more oh it didn't really there wasn't much loading was there I'm just wondering if, if, if that ghost will come back again or if I've missed the chance to get a good spirit photo there I'm gonna have to be quicker on my shutter yeah, it looks like it Ran through here though. What's this door? Oh. Oh crikey. Okay, this is the large Who lit the candles? Kinda worrying. There's a fairly Freaky vibe in this place. Wait, the, the blue thing came up. Something to examine. That's what that means. It's the menu for the dining hall. Writing on a sign is hardly legible. Yeah. Okay. Well, my torch has illuminated an item over here by the piano. It's another mo note from uh, Madoka. I need to write something. Doesn't matter what. Got to keep writing or I'll disappear. If I stop writing, I lose it all. Got to keep writing. It's no good. I don't know. It's all over. It's getting closer. Melting. Mom, help me help. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. Stop shaking me like I'm a toy. Oh, oh no. That doesn't sound good. Shall we run away now? Don't play spooky piano noises, me. Wait, that on the floor. What is it? Spirit stone, maybe? A blast lens? What the f is that? Lenses can be equipped to the camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight and have the, a variety of effects on ghosts. Select camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight from the menu and then lenses to equip different lenses. During a battle, you can press square to use an upgrade lens if you have enough spirit points shown in the lower left corner of the screen. And then change the currently equipped lenses with up and down. That's a lot to remember. Come on, video game. What are you doing to me? Uh, camera obscura. Lenses. Lenses. 
Okay, I need red spirit stones before I can put that lens on, I guess. But I have one now. I have a blast lens. Just can't use it. Just can't use the blast lens. Oh, oh, yeah, pup. Nurse who misplaced key. Can I zoom in? No, I think the only way you can zoom in is by moving forwards. Okay, we've got a few things to check out. A projector. Looks like it takes real type films. Well, better than fake films. <laughs> oh, look. We got a key. It's a small key with an engraved wooden tablet attached. That opens the entrance hall stairway. There's a plaque with something written on it underneath. Procedure for opening the second floor entrance hall gate. Activate the switch on the panel in the storeroom under the entrance hall stairs. Ensure the numbers total up to 13. The gate must not be opened without permission from the nurse station. Okay. So I've got to remember to count to 13. No more, no less. Uh, do you want to says, I think you can equip it. Oh. You got five blue spirit stones. Nice. Uh, obscure. Lenses. Mm. Can be used to... Mm. Doesn't seem to be a way to <coughs> equip it. Oh, here we go. I was looking in the enhancements bit. Lol. There we go. Take some more powerful shot when used. There we go. I got it. Cheers, Joanna Man. Oh, film. This is the least powerful. Okay, so we've got a new lens on the camera now. Oh, I've examined the projector before. Anything behind the projector? Oh, here's something to examine on the table. A mirror stone fully restores your health meter when it runs out. The item will then disappear. So that's like a consumable, I guess. This is a bit of a dead end. Right, here we go, around here. Oh, look! Five masks. The wall is lined with masks, like the one that appeared in the photo. Wait, is one of the masks missing? Hey! Oh, that bit! Where'd you go, kid? That kid was wearing a mask, and I think he went in this room here. He was a bit speedy. I'll go chase him in a sec. Just having a little look for collectibles. There we go, see? Herbal medicine. Use on the item screen to restore your health meter. Another consumable. Lovely. Let's see if we can get the mask off that little boy. Come back here, you! I'm an adult cat lady. How dare you! Run away. Broken furniture blocks the end of the corridor. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Man in courtyard. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Well, I got the I got the the snap. Wait, it says there's something to examine, but what? Oh, there we go. Last survivor dies. There's an old newspaper clipping sticking out of the post box. This morning at 10 a.m., the last remaining survivor of the mass disappearance incident in Rugetsu Isle died in hospital. The irreversible physical and mental trauma she dis sustained have been identified as probable causes of death. It's weird. Ephra and Zoe say I cause irreversible physical and mental trauma on them. They haven't died yet, though. That outfit is gorgeous. Love the armband, says Joanna. I'm not wearing an armband, but thank you. 
very much. All right, ghost child, where are you? Show yourself. Catwoman wants the mask. Damp air drifts in through the window. A courtyard is visible outside. I don't see anything else out there now. Oh, we're back here. I know where we are. Where's this little boy? Give me your mask. So we've gone a, cir a circular route, huh? Oh, oh you little sh <laughs> Oh, I hate children. Come here, you. Boy standing beyond the gate. Okay, didn't do any damage to him. Examine. Costumes. <laughs> the rest just seems so. I was going to change costume again, but the, the rest seem. At least this one's kind of elegant. The others are uh, faptastic. Use the key. Alright. Oh. My god. Didn't expect to see that under the stairs. Uh, okay. Bunch of crap. Uh, this is the thing I'm g What the f- You're not gonna- No one's gonna say anything about the dead body in here, no? Oh, there we go. No, I, what? No, no. I thought I was gonna examine the dead body. Uh, but we're just conveniently ignoring that. It's a clipping of a newspaper. Two weeks into the investigation, there is still no sign of the mis missing Rugetsu Islanders. Islanders investigators have expressed fears that the case will be closed on this mass disappearance incident due to a complete lack of leads to follow. Many bodies were found with their hands covering their faces. Expressions... What? Wh why have they starred that out? Expressions... Leading investigators to suspect a connection between the appearance of these bodies and their cause of death. While that cause has yet to be determined, the possibility of an outbreak of infectious disease has apparently been ruled out. <laughs> oh. Well, I can't move. Now I can move. That. Something wrapped in a sheet is propped against the wall. It looks human in shape. It must be a mannequin. Well, I mean, it's just... Okay, yeah, fine. Let's just... Do you know what? If I was in that situation, I'd probably say it was a mannequin as well. So we need to make... 13, huh? We've got 21 at the moment. What's that do? 1 or a 9. Uh, 2 or a 5. Uh, okay, 4 or a 7. Okay, these are incredibly high numbers. It's 15. 10. What do we need to make? 13. What was that? There we go. Nice. Done. The panel, the light on the panel, it lit up and stuff. Something's been switched on. A bit slower pace than the Resident Evil game at the moment, but same kind of stuff. If you like Resident Evil, Games like that, especially the uh, the old, the older ones. This one might be up your spooky alley. Oh my God! What the? Hello? Is it tef tef No, I want a telephone. Okay. What are you saying? Hello? Hello? It's me, Ian from Eurogamer. Can I help you? Who's this? I was just borrowing it. Okay, I'll give it back. No one told me I wasn't allowed to take the Mona Lisa. 
It was just hanging there. I thought it would look better in my living room than the Louvre. E up, e up. Gotcha. Nurse with patient. Good, good, good snapping. Snap to it. Okay, should we look in the nurses' station again? I, I control room, summer's end. Curtains reveal part of the room's interior, but it's too dark to make anything out clearly. It says something about you weren't allowed. Oh no, that door just unlocked, friends. I'll have a quick look in here, anyway. Just in case. Stuff to examine. What stuff? What are you saying? It, the, the light is saying there's something to examine around. Passing my torch over things. Oh, there it is. Herbal medicine. Nice. Oh, examine. The nurses' uniforms. Oh, well, yeah. Well, okay, so there's nurses in this hotel. So this. So we are currently in a hospital hotel museum. I guess we are on a tiny little Japanese island. They probably have to keep things quite compact. It's more convenient, I guess. Go stay at... Get ill. Go to the hospital. You've recovered. Have a nice little relax in a hotel. Um, and then, once you're fully recovered, you can leave your hotel room and go check out the museum. Seems seems fine. Oh. That doesn't seem fine. Nope. Absolutely not. Woman greeting Ruka. Oh, no, if you're just saying hello. So the yellow yellow um, icon is just like have a little have a little sh snap of the ghosts, but no combat. The letters are smudged, making the writing unclear and difficult to read. Did I write those things? Maybe I did. Maybe I wait. Did that say examine? A rusted newspaper rack containing several ancient-looking newspapers. The paper crumbles to the touch, and the print is too faded to read. Well, darn. Uh, but there is something down here. It was a hotel and later changed into a sanatorium, says DDF7147. Oh, well, now we know. It's a piece of paper with Madoka's writing on it. Don't look at the face. If you look at the face, you, loo you lose it all. Can't see my face. Can't see my face. Just like the other two. Hey, don't come to a place like this and take drugs. <laughs> oh, chip. Oh, God. Takes a little while to warm up that. Boy disappearing into room. Okay, well, I guess we know where the boy's gone. Uh, can we have a look in here? Little lotusy room? No, it seems to be locked. Does it have? What's it say on that? Oh no! Thought maybe I could read the the sign, but don't seem to. I guess I'll just. Is it a lotus flower? I don't know. It's, it's, it might be cherry blossom actually. I don't know about flowers. Fuck nature. What have flowers ever done for us, eh? Oh my god, what's happened to this door? Examine. Broken door obstructs the entrance to the room, which is in complete disarray. Oh. What was. Loot. Loot, 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 loot. We can chase after that boy in a second. First, I must schnaffle. Got the alarm upgrade. Equipment upgrades can be equipped to your camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight, providing various different effects. These upgrades are equipped automatically when you get them. Select camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight from the main me from the menu screen, then equipment upgrades or activate to activate or deactivate specific upgrades. 
Please note that the alarm and evade upgrades are not available for the Spirit Stone flashlight. So is that... Has it been automatically added? I'll have a look. Camera obscura. Equipment upgrades. Yes, already equipped. Can I enhance it too? No. Fine. Let's keep going. Always schnaffle first, says Joanna Wanna. Indeed, indeed. Okay, this one better be open. Here we go. Slipknot's bassist on the wall behind us. All right, kid. Give me that mask. Don't mess with me. This room is full of all kinds of strange things taken from around the building. Ah, it's a kleptomaniac, kid. Oh. Reach out. What have we got? What have we got? An old tape. Patient interview. Himiko Kiria. Tape record. Found a tape recorder. Okay. Dull parts, pictures, musical instruments, and other objects are piled up. Oh, look. That's a photo of the... Oh. Is that a leg? Got a blue spirit stone. What is that under the table there? It's like a... It's like a leg sticking out from under... The, is it a leg? I don't know. Looks a bit leggy. Alright, hold on. Files? How do I listen to the tape recorder? Tape recorder. An old tape recorder that allows the playback of recorded voices. But how? Wanna well, listen to the tape recorder, you oh, fine. I guess the game will tell me when I can do it. A crystal radio and various books lie haphazardly in a broken cupboard. No shy signs of dilapidation are completely beyond use. Oh. Ooh, cobwebs. Wait, what time is it? None of those clocks are right. Oh, got another thing to check out here and examine. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a leg, says Joanna Wanna. Uh oh. Does someone have a pencil free in for the tape, says Kevin Chong? It keeps. Uh, it doesn't load properly, so I'm going to have to put it on the radiator to warm it up a little bit first. That's something you'll only get if you're old. There's a diary here covered in doodles. April 6th, rainy day. I found another thing to keep for myself today. It's a mask from the dinner hall. They always take me away when I'm not looking. They know I don't like it. I have to get the pieces back again. I put the mask I found today under the bed. So no one will find it. No one will take it from me this th this time. If they do, I'll get them. Okay, we're going to have to fight a child for a mask. Sure. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Let it be known here. Right here, right now, on this live stream. Ian Higton is not afraid to fight children. I don't always win, but I'm not afraid. And that's the main thing. <laughs> oh! When a wraith attacks you, you have a chance of capturing a fatal frame. Why didn't I just call it fatal frame here? Much better name. If you time it correctly, you will take a Fatal Frame, which grants bonus effects. Fatal Frames stun the enemy and inflict a huge amount of damage. While the enemy is stunned, you can string together multiple Fatal Frames into a combo. If you equip the Alarm Upgrade, the Fatal Frame icon at the top of the screen will start flashing to let you know when to snap the picture. Okay. That wasn't a Fatal Frame, but... Oh, 
boom. I don't see my oh, fatal frame alarm going off yet. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, kid? He's behind me. Hey. He's so angry. He's got a weird face. Boom. Headshot. He's gone. There he is. I see ya. Coming out of the plants. Stay back. Spooky little... I get ya. Ooh. I missed the fatal frame attack there. I saw it. I saw it pop up then. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh god! Piss off! Trying to get stuck on a wall. Not the most maneuverable of fights. Eek! Ah! Ooh, a child is touching me. Ooh, gross. Dirty Jeremy little pricks. Is that a fatal frame? Yeah, dunno, maybe. Killed him. Whoops. This isn't right. Someone took it. If I don't hurry, I'll start disappearing. Who did it? Give it back. Give it back and back and back and back and back. Disappearing. Give it back. I think those might be the lyrics to a Slipknot song. And yep, yeah, there we go. That is the uh, second drummer's mask from Slipknot. Hey everyone, how many times has Ian yelped so far, says Christine Webb. I think I'm on zero yelp so far. I don't really get scared by horror games unless they're... Uh, their VR nowadays. Talking about VR horror games, um, should have something pretty cool and spooky coming up that for this Sunday's VR corner. So do keep an eye out if you like spooky stuff. Different film types have different levels of effectiveness. The more powerful the film, the more damage ghosts take when having their photo taken. So that camera obscure from the menu screen and film. You know, I also do this during game play with left and right. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look, there you go. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, you can see it's just there. So type 14, I have 10. So I've got infinite type 7, but they're quite weak. And then I've got 10 type 14, which are stronger. Okay, so I'll keep it on the, f the cheapy one for now. And my health. Is that my health on the right? Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to heal up a bit. That looks like my health is a bit low. Ah, voices. Here we go. Records. Horse voice. I'm a horse! Give me a carrot! Clippity-clop now! That's, I presume that's what horses sound like. Tapes. Here we go. Patient interview. Now, does it still play when I go out of the menu? Damn it. まつりの終わっても
あの音楽を聴くたびにまたやめてくださいやめてわかりましたあなたには特別な治療をしましょう Don't go to that doctor.、Uh, hi. All right, so people on this island had a problem with forgetting and melting. So,、uh, you know, that's the thing. Right, I wanted to eat a health. Okay, that is my health on the right. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, I think we're done with this room. I've got the mask. So let's continue.、Uh, exploration. Well. Sorry, I got possessed by a Japanese ghost for a second there. Ian went all Ringu. I must be. Okay. A crystal radio. Okay, no, I just. I don't need that. Go. Oh, yuck. Use this on your item screen to fully restore your health meter. Scared water? Urgh, I'm water and I'm scared.、Urgh. Joking, I know it's a sacred, really. Don't, I know you saw you type in the comment already. I knew it said sacred. I was just joking. Oh! Better! I put, the, I put the hardcore film on. There we go. Oh, up! Wait, what? Where? Where are you? Spooky lady! And back! In your face! Dead? Dead, I killed her. Can you kill a ghost? <laughs> Scared Water, aka H Boo O, says EA122. Excellent pun. Oh. My. my, my uh... My investigate meter is going off. Is there something shiny on the floor somewhere? Oh, yep,、yeah, there it is. It's weird, like, these things only appear after you've passed your torch open, so it's kind of easy to、um, miss stuff, I guess. Red spirit stones can be used to increase the power of the lenses. Select camera obscura or spirit stone flashlight from the menu. I don't think I have a spirit stone flashlight yet, so that must be whoops, something I'll be getting later. Uh, camera obscura lenses. Here we go. Takes a more powerful shot when you use l o w Level up. Boom. I have leveled up my lens. Can I have level up anything in the camera obscura? I can level up the charge. What's the charge? It improves film loading time. Yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. Bit of an enhancement in both, both bits now. I want to believe that the cat ears are part of the default costume, says Seesop. Sadly, they're not. They were unlocked from me from, for me from the start, so. You know, I presume they'll be unlocked for everyone else. When I got this. the code for this game, it also said, Do you want to download these、um, outfits? I was like, Sure, yeah, I'll download some outfits too.、Um, wait, what the fuck? 
this isn't. Where, where am I going to be going? Ooh. Oh, uh, it's that way. I remember now. Found a pamphlet. The Rogetsu Kagura is by far the most popular, uh, uh, important traditional festival. It's held once every ten years. The highlight of the festival is the Kagura itself, taking place in the Temple of the Lunar Eclipse. A maiden known as the Vessel and five girls known as Organs perform a sacred dance. Why not use the Kagura as a chance to visit Rogetsu Isle and experience its rich history? Perverts everywhere. Right, this way. Back to the dining room. Oh my god! Click! Man pressing against window. Never be the man pressing against a window. It's just weird. No one likes it. No one thinks you're cool. Pressing yourself up against a window like, what the fuck is up there? There's a creepy vent. Hopefully the uh, xenomorphs don't start dropping down from there. That would be unfortunate, to say the least. Okay, the masks should be about here. Bim bomb. Oh, it farted. The seal on the door in the museum has been broken. Okay, so the quickest way to get to the... Damn it. The quickest way to get to the museum, I believe, is going to be back the way I came through here through there and to there could go the long way around but what am I made of legs no I'm only no, what would I be like 35% legs the thing about ghosts is you never know when they're going to appear either. I mean, the ghosts in, in my house normally appear when I'm having, having a bath. Oh, shit. Get your camera out, lady. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, it's Right. Don't make me don't make me take a photo of your good side. That's it. There we go. Show me some give me a little bit of thigh this time. I'm putting on my powerful one. That's it. Show a bit of knee. Fuck off. He's behind me. How do I turn around? I'm quick turn. Ah shit. I thought you could quick turn with the camera. Uh, equipped, but I'm having a problem here. What the? F Fell down there. Eh? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, he's behind me again. Oh, leg it. No. I said leg it, not turn round. Shite. Shite. Yeah, eat a dick. Right, how do you quick... Is there a way to quick turn with the camera on? I thought there was, but... Maybe not. <coughs> Man, even Rose Winters moves fastest as Kevin Chong. Yeah. The uh, protagonists in this game are slow as folk. How 
How's my health? It's pretty low. Mmm, herbal medicine. Quick, quick save me. Go on. Save me. There we go. Now saving. This is running. Probably not that easy to run in a, uh, ch an elegant Chinese dress. Never tried, so I don't know. But I think I could manage it. It's got to split up the side for a reason. Has it got split up the side? Yeah. Okay, someone was crying in there. Let's go. Time to go home. Back on the boat, cat lady. It's open. Hello? Hello? Is anybody crying in here? Hello? Oh, help it. Hello? This bookshelf is well stocked. The Abyss of Memory, synth synesth Synesthesia in the Body. Oh, two of my favorites. Oh, hello. This bookshelf is well stocked. There's a doll in it. Portraits of Memory towards the oranges of the soul. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Hey! My right, pal! Finally found you! I thought you were dead! Don't make the noise that Sado Sadaka from the ring makes, or... Samara. Wait, what? Sadako? Samara? I think one's from the ring and one's from something else. Maybe one's from the ring and one's from the remake. I don't know. Examine. Hello? Oh. Yes. I'm your friend. I've come to rescue you. Ah! Uh, holy shit! She's a ghost. And kablowy! That's right. Where'd you go? 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 Come here, you are. Gonna get ya! I've got my my type 14 on. Boom! Right, right boom, double kill. Stun. Oh. Oh. Around the corner again. Oh yeah, fuck off! Boom! Fatal frame! Yeah. Here she comes. And kablow him! Right, I'm using my book. Whoa! He's knocking books off the shelf. It's the ghost librarian from the Ghostbusters. Kablam! Yeah! I murdered the ghost of my best friend. Now no one will ever remember she existed. Ha ha! Whoa! Am I a ghost? Mooning you all again. Sorry. Tee hee. Save the game. <laughs> yes. There we go. Well, looky here. We're only halfway through the stream, and I've already murdered one of my friends. <laughs> no, that took much longer to do that. I have not tried the Maiden of Blackwater installment of Fatal Frames. The only one I've ever played is the very first one on the original Xbox.
Hi. Blink ever. Who do you think you are? Wednesday? General Ortega did it better. Phase 2, Resonance. So this game is about 16 hours, I think. <clears throat> <clears throat> the sound design is horribly stress-inducing, says Abdosi and Chulak 2. It is a spooky sound design, you're right. Bass Jamsborough says, Hey, Ian, can you tell Des to get out of bed with a shout that it's half three? Des, get out of bed, it's half three, come on! What are you doing? I'm nearly finished work and you're still in bed, Daz. Daz, get out of bed. <laughs> camera Obscura, this is the camera I brought with me. What's it doing lying on the ground? <laughs> Professor Asso's notes. Oh, so we're now we're Misaki. Misaki Aso. This is mine too? The book with notes about the camera? I entrust this prototype camera obscura to the descendants of the Aso family as proof of the validity of my research. It was this camera obscura that I first successfully captured a powerful spiritual force on film. It proved that my theories were correct and it represents the first step I took on my unprecedented journey I have yet to put this to the test, but I should be able to it should be theoretically possible to capture the forms of the deceased on film. However, the camera obscura has a strong effect on priests, mediums, and others who are able to s sense the inconceivable. Hence, I forbid its indiscriminate news. Oh man, <laughs> I go and troll so many priests. <clears throat> so this is a bit of a flashback now. What, should, what is it though? Because the doors are open. Madoka. Find Madoka Tsukamori. Wait, okay. God damn it. Now I'm confused. So where. What? Where? Where? Where is Spinels? I can hear a noise coming from somewhere. Is it in this. in here? Is it this? It's an old logbook. The children have been playing tricks again, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. I change the door code regularly, but they seem to find out the new code every time I do. Apparently the code game is their new favourite way to play. They write the code for the door somewhere and give it and give each other clues about where to find it. I scolded them quite severely about this and some tears were shed. The director has told us to be vigilant about the door. Patients might wander the building if that door is left open, so please warn the children about playing with the door. If you see numbers written anywhere, be sure to clear them off. We don't want a repeat of last time. Okay, got to look for numbers written around. Is it this? Is what's making the noise? Reach out. Ah, I got the evade upgrade. Sure, sounds good. And what have we got here? Blue spirit stones. And what have we got here? This looks like a document about the inf from the infirmary. An introverted child, Madoka seems to be being bullied by other children her age. 
If you come across any children bothering her, please. Discipline. Wait. So Madoka was was here? Was a resident? Due to the recent death of a, a Tomoko Hinamua, patients have moved out of the old building. Rainy Moon, Yokihira Sanahara, Wizen Moon, Kazuta Amaki, and Orchid Moon. Wait, so these are all... One, two, three, four, five. These are the... Are these the organs from the dance? Also, how the... Do I stop that beeping? Shut up, beeping! Okay, that's... Okay, I guess the beeping is not in here. That noise is in, in A. Uh, the sound is coming from this room. Oh. That noise is A in, ca in A in case anyone wants to harmonise, allegedly. Shut your face, shut your... Oh, here we go. Help, Misaki! That was Madoka's voice. It's a nurse call from room 203. Maybe Madoka is in there. Okay. It looks like I have to enter a combination. Find the code for the panel. Okay, so I've got to find numbers written down. By cheeky children, huh? That's what weird moonwalking you did there, young lady. Up! Oh. Snap! Patient in front of door. Oh, wrong button. Camera obscura. So... So the enhancements aren't saved between characters. All the lenses. Because I... So is this happening at the same time? Different time? I'm not really sure. Locketh. Well, how dare you? Uh, well, let's go look for some numbers. I guess need four of them. If I was a creepy, spooky child, where would I write numbers? I'd be low down. Because the children are short and stuff. See, I'm using my brain here. Moonwalking. I see what you did there, says DD. Nice. Oh, yes. It's locked. Okay, so. Creepy face again. Burp. No numbers. <laughs> oh, you love. Oh, you little bastards. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. Girls looking into room. Okay. Maybe they wrote some stuff in here. I've already been in here once before, but... I presume they could have written codes here somewhere. Ah. Uh, uh, it's child crayon drawing. Is that a Dalek? Is that Davros? Have they drawn Davros? A pi oh, it's a clock. Oh, it's a picture of a clock. I think I've seen this before. That's a clock! Please, that's not a clock. That's shit. Kids are crap at art. Okay, let's go check out the clock. This must be a clue as to where they've left the code. Wait, can I change the outfit? Well, that clock is bonging, so I presume that's a hint. Can I change costume? Yep, I want the cat ears. Yes, please. Nightwear pink. Chinese dress crimson. D. 
dancer swimsuit. There are different outfits for each person as well. There we go. Wait, trade. Honestly, that is this is not this is not an appropriate ghost hunting outfit. The fuck? Fine. Okay, examine. There are scratch marks near its feet where something has been erased. I feel a strong presence. So it might show up if I take a photo. The camera is supposed to have strange powers. Okay. Click! Give me some num nums. Oh, eight three nine five. Yes, eight three nine five. Cool. Sounds good. Let's go check that out. Eight three nine five. Oh, hold on. Loot. Something is written on the paper to all infirmary staff. A new patient has been admitted to the second floor. Her name is Ayako, and she will be in room 207, Orchid Moon. Ayako will be admitted on the direct introduction of Director Haibara. So we must do everything we can to ensure her stay as pleasant as possible. I don't think the director's going to end up being a good guy in this game for some reason. All right, fuck, what was the, what was the code? I forgot it already. Wait. Oh. I got distracted by loot too many times. 8395. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Nightcat says 8008. But it is with this costume on, that's for sure. Uh, camera Obscura. Enhancements. Oh. Okay, I thought I picked up more. Oh, ow. Just walked into the uh, banister there because I was just checking the comments. Gotta be cold wearing this, no? So the top of her pants. How does that dress even stay on? Whoa! Oh, missed it. Uh, okay. How are we doing this? Turn. Be quicker if I go this way. Eight. Three. Nine. Five. The door to two F ward corridor has been opened. Thank you. This door has now been opened. <laughs> Boom! Ah! Turn around! Camera! Uh, oh. This camera obscura seems to have a different lens or something. To the walls. Dead? Not yet. Come at me, bro. Can I get a spirit? A, a spirit? Nope. What? A fatal frame. I was waiting for the fatal frame alarm to go off. No such thing. Ready for your close up, madam. Oh, what a gorgeous smile. A Rorschach shot. Is that where every, uh, every photograph I take looks like my parents? Does that count as a Yelp? I don't. Uh, I don't think it counted as a Yelp. 
It was more um, an exclamation of disappointment because I moved the wrong direction and couldn't get my camera out. My pulse rate barely moved. Cat ladies exploring the... Oh, good. I've completed the game. It's locked, huh? Oh. Bell. Don't be a clown ghost, don't be a clown ghost. Oh, two ghosts. Christ. No, lady. Oh. It's very easy to accidentally turn around in this game. Oh my God, they're all. Why the bloody hell? Right, they're all behind me now. Okay, come on. Where are you? There you are. Whip, 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 whip. Smear. Oh. Hey! Buddy. Two ghosts. Oh, fuck. What the? No! Shit. Okay, there, there are more than two ghosts. I get it? No, nope, I'm, I'm gonna bloody die. Do I have any bits? That'll be no. Oh god, I'm gonna die. That was a, a bad shot. No, I died. Whoa! Oh my god. That, the combat is it's very confusing. It's it's not exactly the most um, fluid of control systems, I've got to say. Game over. Latest release about eight minutes ago. How dare you? Two ghosts, one camera. <laughs> Says off world. Oh my. Oh. We get to try a different costume. Sure. Nothing creepy about that. She's got a little bobble on her ass. So I've got to do this bit again, or is this bit done? Oh, no, I guess we're doing... This bit, huh? Oh! Something has appeared in the photo. 8395. And... Yoink! Five red spirit stones. Oh, spirit. Wait. It was red spirit stones, was it? Okay, I've got five red spirit stones, but nothing to use them on. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. And there was this here. Gimme. Gimme. This outfit does look a bit warm. Are you alright, uh, Imladra? You are right. Something's written on paper. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. I've read it before. Okay. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. That's it. the worst running. Come on. So I'm just going to check the controls quickly. 
files? Camera obscura. Is there a quick turn? That's what I'm finding the difficult. With camera obscura equipped, while holding, while use R while holding L3 to look around quickly. While holding L3. Oh. Oh, okay, so there's no quick turn. You can just move it a bit quicker. All right, all right fair enough. All right, fair enough. Going the right way. No. Beep, 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 beep. No lenses attached to that camera. Run, 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 run. What incredibly voluminous socks. My little slippers as well. Tennis! Come on, gotcha this time. There we go. No? Oh, right, fine. Fine. Uh, there is a quick turn LB by itself, maybe, says Rob Langley. Only in third person, I'm afraid. I'll just murder you when I can't even see you. We good? Good, everyone good? Everyone good? Right, good. Now you know what I'm gonna do, don't you? And I run back down the stairs. I save my fucking game. And then I'm gonna try fighting those two ghosts. Quick save. Thank you. Yeah, there's nothing like a good run, and this is nothing like a good run. <laughs> They'll run like they're holding in a really desperate wee wee. through all this shit first, don't I? Uh, yes, it was Madoka's voice. Oh, can 
can I skip? I'm sure I can. It's in it already. It's in it before. Fuck! Oh my god, it's so easy to quick turn by accident when you're trying to turn a corner. Oh shit, I need to struggle as well. Fuck! Oh, piss. Hadouken! Double kill! Boom, headshot! Maybe the maybe the classic um, control scheme isn't too much for me. It is a bit a bit too wonky for me. I don't know. I've not tried the action control scheme, but honestly, um, yeah, trying to turn and it's very easy if you're heavy thumbed like me to accidentally click the change direction button. I seem to do it every time. You're like, oh, I just walked straight into a ghost. Something has appeared in the photo in a room with books. A, a place with a lot of books. God, I remember a place with a lot of books. Where was it? Where was the bloody place with a lot of books? It was... I remember now. Female patient's suicide note. The fact that you are reading this means I'm no longer in this world. I'm the last living member of my family. My mother died giving birth to me, and fate saw to it that my father and brother met with fatal accidents. The memory of my family and the guilt of being the only one left alive was what kept me going. Now this sickness is taking even those small comforts away from me. My memory is the only place where my family still lives, yet there is nothing I can do to stop the thing from getting inside me and killing me, killing them all over again. I can't stand it any longer. I remain alive as the people inside me are killed, and the most frightening thing of all is the thought that before long I won't even be aware of what is happening to me. I lose everything, yet I feel nothing. My family faces death after death, yet I feel nothing. This is why I am choosing to leave this world, uh, while I have what little memory remains inside me, while I am still me. Yeah, lots of people losing their memories here. I'm always accidentally clicking in the thumbsticks in games. That's why I hate games that assign it to something important, says Gavin. Uh, the amount of times I've died in Call of Duty games and stuff like that because, like, uh, an enemy has turned up around the... Like, an enemy has turned up and um, made me jump. And then I'm, like, accidentally melee instead of shooting. Very annoying. This would be pretty decent in VR, though, I reckon. Not just because of the sexy costumes. <laughs> no, I mean, like, moving around and, like, actually physically being able to lift up a camera and stuff would be pretty sweet. Holding the torch. Maybe torch in the left hand, camera in the right hand. That'd be pretty sweet. Die! Thee Bart, thee. Girl standing on stairs. Oh, I'm dying. I like my flash power. What else have we got? We've done the, we've done the. Well, let's go. Crimson dress. I got lots of points, but what, what, what else can I buy with these points? These all seem to be. They're all locked. Trade. Here we go. Herbal medicine. What's a Hazoki dolls? A note that reveals the location of the Hazoki dolls in the ghost list. Hmm. Well, let's buy a few of these. Type 14 film. Sure. Buy some stronger film. Okay. 
Hey, Fernface. Fernface says a fatal frame in VR would be quality. And Joanna Runner says, oh, God, I would actually, oh, God, I would actually die if I played this in VR. Oh, that is a, that is an, oh, hold on, there are some boob physics going on there. <laughs> Right, where are we going? I th why can't I... M oh. I was stuck on what appears to be a tree inside a building. She's all wriggly. They should rename this game Girl Who Needs to Go Real Bad, says some guy g sitting down in a super chat. Na 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 I'm a cat girl. Neko chan meow 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 Okay, this room had a lot of books in it. Why is that a doll in it? I don't know if this these dolls that you see that doll there? I don't know if that's taking oh yeah look. They must be hidden items. The doll's curse has been lifted. Excellent. Something is lying next to the doll. The dolls in red kimono are Hozuki dolls and are a tradi tradition of the Rigitsu Islands. Their origin is not known for certain, but they are said by some to have originated as dolls made by parents in memory of their deceased children. On some areas, uh, islands in the area, the dolls are said to be unlucky, but here on Rigitsu Isle, they are placed in various different locations in order to ward off evil spirits. And I've just got rid of the ward. So now we're going to get loads of evil spirits? What? Wow. More red spirit stones. Pretty sure I don't have anything to upgrade with the red spirit stones. Ah, now we've got the stun lens. Now I do. Now I do. The bookshelf is well stocked. Music and the brain. A melodic healing. A reality. Okay. That button. And then camera. And then lenses. Wait. Lenses. Wait. Lenses. Equip. Pushes ghosts back up. And then. Lenses. Ten. All right, there we go. We got a lens, and we got the means to upgrade. Oh, oh! Hey, buddy! Shit! I pressed the wrong button again. That wasn't me jumping. That was just fuck me. The controls in this game. in front of me. Oh! Well that wasn't that was to the right of me, not in front of me, you lying indicator. Indicator of early Noah. I'm gonna die in a sec. Boom! Oh that's okay that's bad. Put the camera down. Put the camera down. Wow, you don't get a lot out of that herbal medicine. Nope. Bring your camera up, you sluggish asshole. Is that not a fatal frame I did there? Ha ha. The 
that's what you get for messing with Cat Lady. The controls are the real enemy here, says Joanna Wanna. They are a little bit. They are a little bit. An array of masks portraying a range of expressions, each with a nameplate. They must be the names of the people who made them. Got Type 14 film. Nice. Okay, wait. So I just killed that dude for what reason? This reason, hopefully. This is the key to Madoka's room. Noise. That's back upstairs, isn't it? There it is. Okay. Well, this whole this whole building um, kind of is opening up very, very slowly, so it's it's not too hard to kind of work out where the hell I'm gonna be going. Oh, thank you. I certainly will blossom, woman standing by masks. What the fuck? I wasn't looking. Locked, you say? Okay, what's this? Thing? A rotten mask piece. It's a document about masks. A Kagura festival is held on this island on the day of the lunar eclipse. On that day, they say all living souls tend towards the underworld and that the souls of the dead return from there. Since the moon symbolizes the soul here, the eclipse must be thought of as the consumption of the soul. I've read that the Rigetsu Kagura used to be performed using a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. The document I read was very old and fragmented, but I ascertained from it that this black mask was said to have been brought to the island. It brought the island to a disaster known as the Day of Tranquility. I asked the head of the island about this, but he told me with a fearful look on his face that no such thing ever existed. It seems this mask of the lunar eclipse is somehow something of a taboo subject here. From what I have discovered, the mask is a dangerous artifact, but still I wish I could have had the chance to take a look at it with my own eyes. Could have been a great help with my investigation in the spirit world. Okay. Alright, so I've got half a mask. Does that mean I can leave now? Yes. Okay, I'm just being fussy. Wanted me to find that bit of mask before I noped out of there. Who lit that candle? Sidious of the Fallen says, Ian, try taking out the camera and pressing L3. Do you not believe me? All it do You can't quick turn with the camera by pressing L3. All you can do is speed up the movement. Honestly, backseat gamers. See? You can L3 turn here in third person. You bring up the camera. You can't quick turn. You can only move it slightly faster if you hold down L3. Honestly, some people, some people. <clears throat> You'd think I wasn't even playing the game. Shit. Whoa, that woman put the. Did you push a baby down the stairs? I saw that happen before here a long time ago. Uh, wait, I should probably buy some health, right? Because I'm a little bit, little bit poorly. Wait, wrong button. Uh, items and hoiball medicine. There we go. Running up the stairs. Please don't give me scares. I've shaved off my leg hairs. 
I'll not this again. Haven't we already turned you off once before? Shut Ooh, Strong film and boom! Take that, ghost face. And kablammy! Ah. You want more? You want more of my camera? Come on out then. Come out to play. Smile! Yeah. Now that's what I call a killer portrait. <laughs> Oh. All that beeping for now. For now. <laughs> that was my fault, not Sidorus is sorry, says Joanna Anna on Super Chat. Wow. I don't blame anyone apart from the developers of this game. I don't know how to do controls. Wait, what? The door is shut tight. The doorknob has rotted off. I'll rot you off. Okay, let's open this with the key. Yeah! Let's go! Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. There's been a diary that looks like it's been here a long time. At night time, I know it's time for bed, but I get scared and I can't sleep. I get scared when it gets dark. I see my face in the window. It's got a reflection, dummy. When I see my face in the window, my face is all wrong. Okay, that's not... Yeah, okay, that's kind of wor worrying. It's my eyes are wobbly. My nose is bendy. My mouth is twisty. Inside my head gets all twisty too. I want to forget about Ayako and all the other bad things, but instead the good parts go away, so I hope tonight I can sleep well. Oh. 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 Oh, who drew this? Why would you draw this much stuff? Pictures hang the length of the wall. They look like crayon drawings done by a small child. Mm. Bloody children. Honestly, they're rubbish! Why would you hang up a picture that's so rubbish? What's this? What are you doing? This is going to be like Mario 64. We're going to go into another world. No, this isn't. No, this isn't like Mario 64. What was that? Okay, let's see what we got here. There's an old letter here. My darling Madoka, how are you? Did you choose a name for your new pet canary? <laughs> He's going to be a lovely little friend to, for you. That canary's definitely getting eaten. I'm sorry I can't visit you more often, even when I'm not there, Madoka. You know I'm always thinking of you. I'll bring you some crayons next time I visit, okay? Well, so just put more crap drawings on the wall. Don't bother. I know how much you enjoy drawing, so I'm sure you'll like them. The doctors say that doing the things you like to do is good for you. It helps you fight your sickness and get better. So make sure you draw lots of pictures. I know it's scary when you can't remember things you want to remember. 
But don't forget, Madoka, you're a Sukimori. You know that Tsuki in our name means moon, don't you? That means the moon protects us and keeps us safe. So don't worry, Madoka. Do what Dr. Haibara says. Behave yourself and be a good girl. I'll visit again very soon. Mommy. Hmm. How about you don't lock me in a fucking haunted sanitarium, mommy? That would be better for me. Uh, this one. Okay, we've got a new equipment upgrade. Uh, what? Fatal f indicates timing for fatal frame. You can evade a ghost's attack by pressing X at the right time. Do you know what? I haven't even... I don't even know what the right time to do that is. Shows the hit points for ghosts. Okay. So I can evade a ghost's attack by pressing X at the right time. I didn't know that. That probably would have helped if I'd have read that earlier. <laughs> Snap! Oh, wait a minute. You... Hello? Is that a Slipknot poster on your wall? That's good. Whoa! Thought she was going in for a cup. A cup and a jiggle, then. Examine. There's an old nurse's logbook on the bed. It contains useful information. One item to report today, as before the issue with is with Aoka in room 207. At around 3 p.m. I heard of Madoka crying. She rushed to her room to check on her. When I got there, I found that... I told you that pet canary wouldn't last very long, didn't I? I said it would get eaten, but... Slip. Aoka was standing there with a pair of bloodstained scissors in her hands, so there is no question that she was responsible for killing the bird. Caught red-handed, one might say. I told her off as usual, but she just laughed at me. I got no sense that she had any appreciation that what she did was wrong. It's one thing to say that she can't tell right from wrong, but Aiko's behavior is just too much. I worry about her negative influence on Madoka and the other children, but in accordance with the director's wishes, we are unable to take any effective measures against Aoko's transgressions. Oh. Well. A child's crown drawing is up on the wall. I mean, it's better than better than the most... Who is that going to be? Is it the Beatles? What's that? A lighthouse? There's always a lighthouse. Oh. What's this? Red spirit stone. Oh, I can do an upgrade. Lovely. Is there anything else? A large picture hangs on the wall. To fix an eerie silhouette. Let's have a look. It's the same picture, just on its side. That was kind of cool. Uh, Alright, camera obscura. Come on. And len no enhancements. There we go. Leveled up. How are you supposed to know when there's a right time to evade? Says Nightcat. No idea. I will try and find out. Oh my God, that's horrible. Says Quixotic Raven. And Nurisikinali says, Ah, Ayo, Ah, Ayako is a little psychopath. Y'all, la 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 la. Hey. Gotcha! Right in the face. Girl peeping at Misaki. Keep wasting my powerful films on these little um, sneakers. A 61 film? That was a 61 film. High-powered film. Powerful, but with normal loading times. Normal film. Not very powerful. Has long loading times. This is the least powerful. So the free one is the least powerful. Okay. So I get everything I need to do from in here? 
think I did. A nurse being called by Ayako. So we off to. We're gonna go this way. Broken door. Wait, is there something in there I can take a photo of? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, something has appeared in the photo. No, Sh Sherlock. What's this? Old cabinet. <laughs> oh, that is a very strong little girl. Girl pulling nurse. Alright, well, I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Is that little girl She Hulk? says Gavin. I think so, I think so. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they've got one of those fancy um, lights that project water over the walls. This is... This is not a cool... This is not a cool bedroom. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh. Haunted dolls and mannequins. Is that what we've got coming up? Cool lava lamp. Oh. oh. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, piss. Turn. Camera, camera, camera. Oh. Snap. Let's put a powerful, powerful photos in. Stun, huh? Hadouken! Drag this, dickhead! Oh, she dodged it! Oh, she's she's fast. Go, where'd you go? Where's she coming from? Somewhere fuck that. And kablooey! I got you. I got you. Oi, 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 Boom, headshot. Oh. Who are you? Anata. Who? Oh. Oh. Oh, she, did she just grab a... Oh, they all grow up here on this crazy orphanage island. No ghosty, I don't want a backpack, says Joanna Wanna. She was just cosplaying as Yoda in uh, Empire Strikes Back. Now what's going on? Whoa. Morning. Save the game. Alright, so we're on to the third chapter. I wonder how many chapters there are. 
Let's find out. Phases. They're called phases in this one. How many chapters in Project Zero? Did I save that? Phase two clear, yes. Twelve main story phases. Still ten to go. Quite quite a long game, I guess. Sixteen hours or something, I heard. I read. Somewhere. Somewhere out there. Luca. Luca. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, the strong silent type, you say? Twelve to eighteen hours, according to Nightcat. Wait, what the fuck? Did he just teleport there? <laughs> Who's that dude? Oh, what? Yeah. Hey brother! Wait, what? The f are we now? Follow the man who looks like Yo Haibara. Am I supposed to know who any of these people are? <laughs> Do I have a camera? Oh, is that a creepy well? This is my notepad. What's it doing line? Oh, wait, shit. Uh, Chishiro. Oh, hello, Chishiro. Missing girls found alive. The five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found alive at around 11 p.m. last night. Oh, that's good. It means I can go home again. All the names of the girls are as follows. All are seven years old. Misaki Asa. Tomo Nanamura. Maruko Tsukumari. Oh, I already know these ones. The girls vanished during the accident-stricken Rogetsu Kagura, leading Sansei. They were spirited away. They were found in a cavern beneath Haibara Infirmary by senior officer Chishiro Kirishima of the An A Amanura Police Department Criminal Affairs Division, who confirmed their identity. So I, now I'm controlling Chishiro Kirishima? The police are investigating their investigative inquiries. Are focusing their investigative inquiries on the staff of the High Bara Infirmary. Okay, so I've got a notebook and it's going to fill in as I progress through the game. And I've got a tape recorder. And I've got some. a tape about the incident. Phase 3, The Lost Day. This, is, this game is going places. Oh. あの時神隠しにあった旅家たちをこの病院の地下で見つけた。それで全てが終わったと思っていた。だが、あの時の5人のうち2人が死んだ。わあ、I'm very good Get a bit of a dry on all this uh, text reading. Uh, what was I going for? Records, that was it. Chishiro's investigation notes. One. You're right, Morto Koala. I'd better be able to put cat ears on this, this lad. Whose whereabouts? この島出身の者にとって特別な意味を持つ祭りだという情報に賭けてみる。ハイバラがこの島に渡ったという証言はまだ。Let's 
Unless a ghost has just passed nearby in my room, which would surprise me. It's getting colder in here. Coldy, coldy, spooky coldness. All right. So he's after Hibara, the old director of this place. Who's definitely been up to some bad stuff. <sighs> Not the least giving budgies to children with scissors. If you're going to give a budgie to a child, make sure that child doesn't have any scissors. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. Seems like it's, you know. Oh, ghosts. It seems like it's something you'd know straight from the off. Is he in seeing freezing breaths as Kevin Chong? Not quite yet. But my spirit meter is going no I have a spirit meter. I've got a spirit stone flashlight. A lovely viewer gave us some ghost hunting equipment. Shall I see if my room is haunted? Look, I've got one of these. Let's see. If this goes if this goes red, it means my room's haunted. Oh shit. Oh no. It's Whoa. That's that's higher than it's ever been. That went to a red. It's it's staying on the it's gone down a bit now. <laughs> it's it's kind of like mid to mid to high haunting. Wish I hadn't, wish I hadn't turned that on now. Did anyone, anyone hear that moaning then? Must have been in the, must have been part of the, the game. That's, what the, <coughs> what? Oh my God, I'll um, I just keep playing this game and hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be all right. That's that's kind of scary. My nose is so cold. Uh, what? And spirit stone flashlight uses a spirit stone to store moonlight. You can use it to attack ghosts, huh? Press triangle to ready the spirit stone flashlight. While ready, press R2, and then release it to emit a blast of moonlight. The longer you hold R2, the larger the blast radius will be. So this is kind of instead of the camera, I guess. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Just like the camera. Oh god! Crikey, there's loads! Why so many ghosts? Killed one. Double shot. It's not Friday yet. No double shots for me yet. All over the place. So many to shoot. Call it spooky. Why can't I? Is my is my torch run out? Oh shit! My moonlight needs to recharge. Fuck! Oh, I guess I can't. I can't activate my torch. Oh, I didn't read the instructions. I may have to wait until the moonlight recharges. 
torch out. No, that wasn't how to bring the torch up. Turn round, no. Fucking hell, turn round. Torch up. Ah, here we go. Bang! They both dead? No, not yet. Oh, God, there's more paint. Boom! Okay, there's one more left, I think. Where are you? Where for art thou? There we go. And... Wow! There we go. Got a little bit confused there. A little bit confused there. Well, you got it. So Yarkus said they might have already blossomed. What the hell happened to the people on this island? Does it have anything to do with Hybara being here? Something is lying where the ghost disappeared. A camera lens? Equipping camera lenses onto Chishiro will enable him to take photos. You should remove it before fighting wraiths. The switch upgrade. Uh... Okay, wait. Lenses. While equipped, it allows photos to be taken with the Spirit Stone flashlight. But then I can't... Um... Okay, but then I can't fight them. So every time I go into a fight, I've got to take that lens off. Ooh, a new lens, says Joanna Wanna. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lends me your ears. Warning, wandering patience. Oh. Listen, I don't give a crap about any of this stuff now. All I want to know is can I put some fucking cat ears on this dude? Oh, no cat ears. Oh, cool sunglasses, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but if you're going to give the ladies super revealing costumes, you know a bit better with your boy Chishiro here. Surf shorts. Oh well. Take what we got. Whoa. Good packs. Good packs, buddy. <coughs> I'm running in my sandals. Wait, what's it? Ah, there we go. The reception counter is open. Shelves containing files and medicine bottles are visible in the back. I'll make you visible in the back. I don't know what that means. Oh, there's Hybara. Looks quite young to be the director of a spooky haunted sanatorium with. This is a leftover. Wait, oh, maybe that was him when he was younger. That was a bit of a flashback. You have one day to short, sort the costumes out, says Nightcap. Developers. Uh, nice that we get sort of close to jorts, though, says Joanna Wanna. Yes, that's true. We do get some kind of jorts. <coughs> That is very true. Right, are we going up the stairs? I think that ghost was uh, leering us up the stairs, but also there's... Is this... Where is this? I need the toilet. Is this the toilet? Ah, it's all locked. Bastard. Fine. Sod it. Sod it! He also runs weirdly. Um, why is he going up the stairs like he's just about to crouch down and have a poop? 
everyone like who's come to this island beforehand has had some dodgy seafood, I think, and uh, it's made their innards a bit wonky. There definitely should be a Speedo's only outfit for him, Gavin. You're right. Joanna Wanner is enjoying the uh, chest action. Aren't we all? A pair of cat ears would have made this look, to be honest, as Nora Sikinali. I honestly am very disappointed there are no cat ears for this dude. <laughs> That's the walk of a man with splinters in his toes, says Nightcat. I don't know. I don't want to know how you know that, Nightcat. But I assume you've been climbing trees barefoot again. I found a notebook. It's Hybara's assistant's notebook. In recognition of my fruitful research into the workings of the cranial nervous system, I've been assigned to work as an assistant to Dr. Shigota Hybara, the Hybara Infirmary on Rigetsu Isle. Dr. Hybara is the leading researcher of Moonlight Syndrome, a condition peculiar to the Rigetsu Islands. Documents I've read describe Moonlight Syndrome as a complete, uh, as a composite mental disorder with curious symptoms such as sleepwalking and memory loss. Despite ongoing research, both the cause of the syndrome and the reasons for its confinement to the Rugetsu Islands remains unknown. Dr. Hybar is currently working to discover the truth about the condition. He's taken a unique approach to creating Moonlight, to treating Moonlight Syndrome. I just read words that aren't there sometimes. Incorporating the folklore of the islands. Treatments such as musical therapy using a traditional Rugetsu Isle moon sounds. I just made a moon sound. Are unheard of in conventional psychiatry. I think Dr. Haibara's ideas are leading the profession in an exciting new direction. His research may not only cure Moonlight Syndrome, but also help to unlock the mystery surrounding the effect that memory has on the mind. It's fascinating. I've no doubt that working with Dr. Haibara will be a chance to gain valuable experience. It simply can't be found on the mainland. Wonderful. Do love a good notebook. Oh no. Spooky wheelchair. Examine. I got one blue spirit stone. Man, this game is really stingy on the old moonstones. I don't like the surgery. Right, we're gonna have to. F oh no, wait, camera, photo. Just, uh, eh? What are we taking a photo? Of? Is it gone? Is she gone now? Oh. What? Oh, look, there's a doll. Not close enough to the doll. My controller vibrates occasionally. I'm going to just take a photo of this spooky doll. Oh man, face. Don't like that picture. Okay, we got one of the spooky doll collectibles anyway. That is, that is a haunting image, that. Hey, Tashara. Uh, can we go through here? I feel like maybe I've not... Oh, God, where am I? Maybe I've not examined this area properly. Hmm. What? Oh, examine. There are numbers and what seem to be male names written on a board. These must be the names of the patients who stayed in this room. Where's that board then? Ah, this board? Must be that board. Yeah. I think I missed the, the ghost photo from this room, but I have found some slippers. Oh, a diary with pictures. Okay. 
They did surgery on me the other day. The other people who got the surgery didn't get better, so I said I didn't want to get the surgery. But the doctor told me it's okay. Since the surgery, it's all red inside my head, and I don't like it. My hair fell out, too. That made me cry. But when I cried, there was blood in it. Oh, f- f- what? But Mama and the doctor say it's okay. My head is red and feels like it's melting. It hurts. Don't like it. I hope the pal might- pain melts away soon. I don't think this is a good hospital to be in. Shit. Again, assistant wandering the corridor. And yeah. assistant in the smoking area. This does not look ventilated enough to be a smoking area. It wants me to examine something, but what? Well, there we go. Reach out. Why would you put that in an ashtray? Found a small key wrapped in some paper on top of the ashtray. Got numbers on it. 0288, I think that has. It's a map of the infirmary. Oh, okay. What's the key for, though? The f it's the key. Oh. Operation prep room. Looks like it's on the first floor. Investigate the operation prep room. Sure. Why the f whoa, why the hell not? Let's go for it. Spooky. Is this the exam? An old wheelchair. Okay, fine. Running around. Oh, okay. Uh, tor and gun torch. There we go. Boom. Anyone else want some? I'm still behind that wall. Oh no, she's put the wall inside of me. Boom, headshot! Take that. Wait, there's another one? No, it's gone now. Okay, nice. Alright, swapping between the lenses isn't too bad. Just got to remember to do it, is all. Oh. Torch. Photo. Man standing by window. These really do have some pretty boring names for these photos. You know, art, it's art. You should have better names, like um, Disappointment Through Glass. Melancholy stairs. Spooky face. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be going, though. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, the pause screen is a, is a, is a um, pianos. Ding! So I'm on the second floor, so I need to go to the first floor and uh, how do I change to the f how do I change floor? Current location. That's the key. Uh, that's not what it, that's not how we oh downstairs. And the first door on the right. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Me and my me and my jorts, my short trousers. There's quite a nice design on those shorts. This is definite beachwear. This torch looks even slower than the camera if it's possible, or is it or is it just an impression Sidorus of the Fallen? I mean, when you go into it it's slow. You can fast you can move it faster by holding down L3. 
So it just depends. It's just me. I'm slow. I'm, I'm, I'm old and cold. Oh. Telephone. Examine. Hmm. Well, uh, let's go open this door and then I think you'll find it's five o'clock and it's time for me to go and have my well-earned Ian Dindins. There we go. There's the prep area through there somewhere. I'm not going that way. I'm going to go save it. I'm off to save it. My laptop just run out of batteries. Had it charged. Had it plugged in to charge. Uh-oh. This is going to make ending the stream very difficult. So wait, wait, what the fuck? How did I end up not going through that door, but then going through that door? Let's go back to the main reception. I want to find the save bit. Here we go, here we go. Must have accidentally turned while I was looking away. Okay. Examine. Is this really run out? Well, bums. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I have been Ian Inkton, and this has been Project Zero Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, or Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, whichever... You, uh, whichever you prefer calling it, Fatal Frame is a better name, as far as I'm concerned. This, uh, it's been, it's quite, I've quite enjoyed it. It's quite slow paced. It has a nice kind of spooky vibe to it. Not too scary though, uh, at least not for me, because I'm a big brave boy. Uh, I like the fact that there's lots of different characters to play as, and there seems to be some kind of um, terrible mystery unfolding, uh, which is pretty cool. Did feel a bit like a fish out of water at the start. I was like, I don't know, is this supposed to be carrying on from something or what? But I I feel like maybe it's a self-contained story uh, almost and you, you kind of have to piece together the events as, as it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I quite like this. If you are a fan of Japanese horror games, uh, stroke puzzle games, kind of slow paced, uh, like the old school Resident Evil games, this one will definitely be for you. The control scheme, the classic control scheme at least, is the only one I've tried. It is a little bit annoying and sluggish and um, awkward. I didn't try the action control scheme. I probably should have done, but that would have made meant I had to relearn another control scheme. That would have just made me even more confused, so um, I, I didn't bother. But yeah, there's, there's, there's choices in there, and there's also plenty of costume choices as well. I can recommend the cat ears. And on that note, I'm off to buy myself some cat ears on eBay because I think they're quite cool. So uh, if you enjoyed this little live stream, do give it a like. Please do subscribe to Eurogamer. We do almost daily videos about video games. We've got stuff coming up uh, tomorrow. I think Zoe has got a tips video about the f Sons of the Forest and Advanced tips video not sure about friday or saturday i'm not sure um but sunday because uh, i'm out at an event tomorrow with Aoife. and sunday you should see the fruits of that event in vr corner um so if you like spooky games and if you like i know you lot like seeing me get scared in spooky vr games but how about Aoife too find out this sunday on this channel so uh yeah have a great rest of your day everyone um the the end screen bit's going to play for a little while because i've got to make my laptop turn back on again so um yeah enjoy watching the uh thanks for watching outro bit bye thanks for keeping everyone safe mods bye